The United Kingdom Space Design Competition encourages students with a variety of interests such as physics, mathematics, astronomy and astrobiology to come together to design the space concept. Here is the design of the students from Gateway College. The International Space Station is a unique scientific laboratory at a low Earth orbit of 220 miles. We are using an existing orbital transfer vehicle developed by NASA to transfer materials from Earth to the ISS. We are collaborating with a consortium of spacefaring nations. Our mission is to utilize expertise in order to research deep space up until Saturn. Our mission is to, to travel from the ISS around Saturn and back to the ISS. Five transport vehicles will be made, two to Mars, two to Europa, and once all four have landed successfully, the final one with six astronauts can travel from the ISS to Mars, from Mars to Europa, from Europa around Saturn, back to Europa, Europa to Mars and back to the ISS. The solar cells are designed like a Japanese fan, so that it can open and close depending on the situation. The hub creates its own gravity due to centripetal force as it rotates on its axis. The hub also has a cone cave shape so that it can reflect electromagnetic communication signals which then can be focused at a point. In space there is no gravity and to from your heart cannot circulate the same way as an earth. This would cause the muscles there to degrade due to less oxygen. 1200 litres of water will be stored in three of the spacecraft. The other two will collect water from Mars and Europa. There will also be 1200 kg of food. They'll be stored in packets such as these. These two items are a necessity to make sure that our astronauts look more like this and less like this. We decided upon a Vasimir rocket engine which uses radio waves to ionize and heal propellant and when it fuels to accelerate the resulting plasma to generate thrust. Vasimir technology uses hydrogen and so the transport vehicle sent to Mars and Europa will manufacture hydrogen for toward the present ready for the crew when they arrive. We are utilizing robotic arms aboard the transport vehicle in order to deal with unexpected breakdowns and parts replacements. We are sending four sensitive robotic landers to explore the surface of Jupiter, Saturn and the respective moon Ganymede and Enceladus. Inflatables will surround the landers and break the fall and they will tumble into microgravity. ESA will be responsible for food, water through recycled urine and developing the waste disposal and ventilation systems. Japan will focus on constructing robotics, electronics and communication systems. Russia will extract the titanium and develop the carbon fiber for the structure. NASA and the CSA will train the astronauts. India and China will develop a heating system able to withstand temperatures below minus 20 degrees. With international relationships not being the greatest, a project like this is well overdue. Percentage contribution by continent is shown here, with ESA and NASA contributing the most. We are using five transport vehicles, each with a projected cost of $200 billion, and so we are hoping for a grand total of $1 trillion. Fly higher with Gateway College.